click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to the subject Electromagnetic Field Theory. In the last chapter, we have seen the wave propagation of electromagnetic wave through different kind of media. Now, this chapter we started with to see the reflection of uniform plane wave at the boundary interface. The boundary interface to separate out two general mediums. For any medium, we can have the characterization in the terms of conductivity sigma, the permittivity epsilon and the permeability mu. So for the two separate general mediums, we have taken the direction of traveling wave into the region 1 to make 90 degree angle with the boundary surface. Hence, we call that to be the normal incidence. Taking this topic into this consideration, we have solved three problems describing how the electromagnetic wave portion is getting transmitted from region 1 to region 2 and some of the portion to get reflected back into the region number 1. The second topic was followed. The topic was reflection of uniform plane wave from a boundary surface separating the perfect conductor from a general medium. So as we know for wave propagation inside the perfect conductor there cannot have wave propagation. So therefore the complete energy associated with the electromagnetic wave was reflected back to the region number one. But practically no conductor is a perfect conductor. The conductivity value is a finite one. So considering the practical cases we again solved some problems based on to this particular reflection. In the previous videos we have solved for the problems based on to the standing wave ratio which is the very significant formula in terms of the reflection coefficient. So let us take the new topic the wave reflection from multiple interfaces. So up till now whatever the reflection of electromagnetic wave we have seen that was for interface 1 only that separates only two regions medium 1 and medium 2. Into the previous video where we have solved problem number 2 to calculate the standing wave ratio we have taken another interface but there also the assumption was that there is no reflection from this particular interface. We have just considered the incident wave to be having EIHI like this the transmitted wave in general we have represented by ETHT and the reflected wave by ERHR here. So for second interface the ETHT will be acting as the traveling wave. So what happens there that we have to see. So in general the example of such cases can be the light incidenting onto the glass slab. If uh, I see the glass slab like this. So glass slab body. So on to the front side we have the glass material and the free space or air you can say. And on to the back side again we have the interface between glass and free space or air. So here we have two types of interfaces. If we align this particular glass slab onto let us say x axis. So that time uh, let us say this position is at x equal to 0. If the dimension is d here. So this is minus to be taken into this particular direction. So x equal to minus d if you take because the negative side of x axis if you consider this is the second interface. So for the example of glass slab we can take the two interfaces into the consideration further if the glass slab is coated with certain another dielectric medium that time the interfaces may increase. So for two interfaces if we can take into consideration the diagram will be like this. So diagram I draw here. So suppose the generalized axis that we have taken right from previous topics is the z axis. So at z equal to 0 we consider one interface and at z equal to let us say minus l we are taking another interface. So this is z equal to 0 and this one is z equal to minus l. 
So let us separate out the regions. This will be region number one. This will be region number two. And this will be region number three. As we know that the regions are characterized by permeability, permittivities and the conductivity, the intrinsic impedances we can denote which depends on to these uh, values that is eta1 for region 1, eta2 for region 2 and eta3 for region 3. Let us consider right from the region number 1, we have the incident wave. So in such a case, what happens, the event we can describe here. In this particular event, a portion of the wave that is reflected while the remainder is transmitted. So reflected portion I can show you here and the remainder is transmitted. So suppose this is wave in general WI right for incident. This is W sub x t that is transmitted and this is W sub x r that is reflected. As this is in medium 1 or region 1 I give the suffixes 1 and to this the region 2. Afterwards the portion that was transmitted here it will be further transmitted into the region number 3 after it reaches here. So this will be the transmitted portion into the region number 3 and the reflected some portion will be there that come back to region number 2. So let us see this is WR suffix 2. This particular portion of reflected wave again gets back to this particular interface and afterwards it gets reflected back to the air. Hence the uh, proceed the thing we see here we can say this is bouncing back of the portion of the energy associated with the electromagnetic wave that was initially incident onto the first interface. So this bouncing back procedure between these two interfaces if happens into consideration we have to talk about the five kinds of wave. The five kind of waves will be the incident first of all then the reflected so the two waves will be there into the region number one. Now the net reflected wave we have the net transmitted wave into the region three so this will be the third one the reflected that is uh, reflected from the second interface and the transmitted from the first interface. So for the region number two, we have to consider the two waves for region number one, two waves and for region number three, that is one wave. So total five waves we have to consider in the case when we have two interfaces. After two interfaces, if we take into the consideration the example like the glass slab is coated with certain dielectric material. So that time the interfaces, let us say from two, we increase to three interfaces. So onto this particular Z axis, let us say this is XY plane. So this is at Z equal to zero. The length for the two interfaces we mark like this. So if this much of distance is L sub x b, so that time this will be the marking z equal to minus L sub x b. If this much of length is L sub x a, so this marking is z equal to minus of L a sub x L b, L sub x b here. So now these are the two, the three interfaces. So this will be the region number one, the intrinsic impedance I write eta sub x1. This will be region two, intrinsic impedance eta two. This will be the region three, intrinsic impedance eta three. And this will be the fourth region, intrinsic impedance eta sub x four. From the first region, we again consider the incident energy. So the incident energy is coming from the left side so here we can say this is incident or the input that is eta suffix in and suffix a we can give for this particular interface. So this is giving us the reflection coefficient because of this first interface and this particular interface the effective intrinsic impedance or input impedance will be represented by eta suffix i n suffix b which will give us another reflection coefficient. So considering these one, 
the uh, typical operation we can observe inside this particular one which will go on this particular portion of electromagnetic wave to get on to the reduced for the reflected portion so with this much of the one while increasing the interfaces we get the advantage that the reflections are reduced the most uh, popular example will be the camera lens the camera is sensitive to the reflections if we make more and more interfaces with certain transparent materials dielectric ones covering the camera lens the camera lens will be much more uh, desensitive to the reflections so this is the purpose to have multiple interfaces so after one interface if you go on to the increasing the number of interfaces we get reduction into the reflections so that is the purpose here so with the next video we shall be taking a simple problem to understand this concept in a more better way for getting such more information onto this topic you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you